Down here while we're uh, talking uh, here, we appreciate everybody coming out uh, tonight to celebrate uh, uh, Gary Gaetti Day and the opening day of baseball. Finally, here, right? Yeah, big round of applause for both of us. My name's Greg Sutton, and uh, 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 for our development team here at uh, Meadowwoods, we uh, welcome you to the Gary Gaetti uh, Sports Academy uh, here, and for this uh, celebration of. Of Gary and his accomplishments and the, and the, the city's proclamation here. We're going to ask uh, the mayor to come up here in a little bit, but a couple of things real, real quick. Uh, wanted to uh, uh, announce a, uh, a really neat uh, uh, opportunity that we've had here with the uh, uh, youth center here in Centralia. Um, uh, with uh, uh, everyone and, and the masks uh, that, that we have, uh, uh, we've uh, uh, been able to create a number of masks and, and are, are selling those. And all the proceeds from uh, any of the mask sales uh, uh, go to uh, uh, the youth center for uh, scholarships to get uh, youth involved in, in sports uh, here. So uh, if you're in need of additional masks, uh, feel free to, to take a look down the retail area there because all that goes to support a great cause. Uh, 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 there is as well and we also uh, uh, wanted you to uh, uh, know that while uh, Gary was a, a, a Cardinals player our, our, our most favorite uh, team uh, for at least half of the development team here is the Cubs and, and Gary's kind of split between the uh, the Cardinals and, and the Cubs so uh, we have with us as, as a, a guest here uh, uh, Mr. Bell a, a well-known artist here in, in uh, our southern Illinois area and he's created the ultimate uh, uh, helmet here so I'm going to have that presentation uh, uh, here. Now when uh, Gary come to me about this he handed me this this half shell helmet which as, as if I was told right Gary was one of the last ones to go without the ear earpiece helmet. I was the last. You was the last. So this is pretty kind of monumental little helmet here he gave me. But anyway, he said uh, he said there's a problem I got down here in Southern Illinois that half the people down here are Cardinals fans, half the people down here are Cubs fans. He says so I need something that can go with both sides. So he said, can you design this helmet for me? I said, sure. And I said, what is it? He said, well, whenever I'm taking pictures with the Cardinals out, a fan, I need this side. I'm taking a picture with a Cubs fan, I need this side. So, Mr. Gary Gaddy, well, I hope this will suit your needs. I think that's, I think that's absolutely beautiful. I don't know about now, I'm a Cardinals fan. So. I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not sure that the ratio is, is one to one down here, but it's okay. I thought it was more the cater is the break off. One right, right. What do you say? Cardinals. There, there we go. Okay. The cater, I go past the cater, <laughs> then I go like this. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Thank you very Thank much. You it's beautiful. Thank you. We did the doors to the bathroom downstairs, too. Just airbrush the doors to the bathroom. It does a lot of work for it's custom kid rocks. For yeah. It. And custom helmets for sale here. So yes. Yeah. Awesome stuff. Thank you very much, sir. Right. Love right. that. Again, if you're now you guys can relax. Okay? Yeah. <laughs> Yep, if you are interested, uh, 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 Mr. Bell will uh, also design uh, you know, for you your own painted helmet uh, here. You can see that information uh, downstairs as, as well as uh, a couple of samples that he has there. But uh, we're going to go ahead and invite uh, uh, Mayor Williams up uh, uh, here to uh, um, uh, read the proclamation. And, and again, uh, uh, we uh, enjoy a special relationship uh, uh, with the mayor, uh, both here at the city as well as... Um, uh, uh, with the youth center, and, and so uh, we appreciated that uh, uh, with the city the, uh, as well today. Is our, our city manager, Will Pro, if you haven't had a chance to meet him, uh, I, I do that as well. Will raise, raise your hand there so uh, folks can see you. Uh, welcome aboard again uh, here. At, at some point, you're no longer new, right? Uh, and, uh, uh, here, so uh, doing some great things. <laughs> some great things here. So uh, I'll turn this over to uh, uh, Mayor Williams. Thank you, sir. Um, I want to ask our city manager, come on up here with me. Oh, I'm taking pictures. <laughs> <laughs> I, I saw you taking pictures, and you're taking it with me, so I didn't want your camera to break. <clears throat> I've heard about this guy for a long time, and um, I'll say it before I read the proclamation. 
There was an old guy in Centralia by the name of Fred Pearson. Some of you may remember him, may not remember him, but Fred just told me, say, hey, Herbie, that guy can play. He says, he might make the pros one of these days. I said, you believe that, Fred? He says, well, I'll let you know a little bit later on. So he didn't have to let me know. Gary let everybody know he could be there. But Gary, on behalf of the city of Centralia, <clears throat> Proclamation, Gary Gaetti Day. Whereas Gary Gaetti is na native son of the city of Centralia, state of Illinois, and whereas Gary Gaetti learned his skills on the Sandlot and school baseball diamonds at this fine city, and whereas Gary has achieved a historic career in Major League Baseball, spanning 20 years, earning many achievements and records, including the four gold and glove awards, two time All Star. Silver Slurry Award, 360 home runs, MVP of the American League Championship Series in 1987, member of the 1987 World Series champion Minnesota Twins, as well as a member of the California Angels, Kansas City Royals, the team over in St. Louis, Chicago Cubs, the greatest team on live, and the Boston Red Sox, and where is the hard work, dedication, and God-given ability of Gary Gaetti has provided years of enjoyment and pride to the citizens of Centralia. Now, therefore, be it resolved that I, Herb Williams, Mayor of the City of Centralia, proclaim Major League Baseball opening day as Gary Gaetti Day in Centralia and call this significance to the citizens of the City of Centralia in honor of Gary Gaetti's achievements and for his current and his future contribution to our community. The City Council of Central Illinois does hereby proclaim that Gary Gaetti Day will conclude with the official opening day of Major League Baseball each and every calendar year. And when this here up, I have here, to, here unto set my hand and cause the seal of Centralia to be affixed. That's the 13th day of July, 2020. Gary, congratulations. He's a Cardinal fan, I'm the Cub fan, so we'll do it this way. <laughs> This. I'm, I'm humbled and amazed that this could even happen for me, but I want you to make me a promise that if we do have a Gary Gaetti day in the future, like you're stating, that you promise me that it's going to be a time of celebration, not only for me, but for how many other great athletes, all the other great athletes that have come through Centralia and, and the accomplishments that they've made. You know, and all the great things that Centralia has been and is going to be, just promise me that that's what it's going to be and that's what it's going to feel like. So I will accept this and receive this, and I'm deeply humbled to do so. So I got a few things I want to say about having a day. <laughs> I've asked, a lot of people have asked me, I said, are you ready for this today? And I'm like, well... I don't know how anybody can be ready for having a day, declared your day, let, let alone knowing really what to say, you know, in regards to thank you doesn't seem like enough, and, and yet, you know, I just, I think, should I say have a great Gary day, or something? I don't know, I, have, have a nice day on, on Gary day, I mean, it's just, it's just really weird to, to have that feeling. And yet, it's a tremendous honor. And I, I want it to be something special, you know, not just because of we're here in this beautiful facility, but just for all the great things about Centralia. You know, it's kind of funny. I got a funny story that it's not really funny. It's just it's a godsend type thing that I don't know if you all were here. A few of you were here when we had our groundbreaking right outside that door right over there. And 
you know, it's documented. We were having dinner the other night, and I just was asking some questions. When when do we have our groundbreaking? You know, what was the actual date of the groundbreaking? So we looked it up online, and it was uh, July twenty third, two thousand nineteen, right outside that door right there. We were shocked and amazed that, you know, the coincidence of that. And it's still just being an idea and a, and a dream, you know, and a project. And now here we are, you know, doing this. I have had one other day, proclaimed Gary Gaetti Day, in my life. It happened in 1987, the year this side, the year this side hates. And I hate to bring up a touchy subject, but I tried to make amends for it, but they had uh, the uh, governor of Minnesota declared everybody on the team a day for that year in 1987. And I'm going to bring my declaration up here and hang it next to this one here. The only thing is, when I actually read to the bottom of it and said, we, I really purposely by declare November Friday, November 13th, Gary Gaetti Day, 1987. So her, thank you for not having it on Friday the 13th. I'm telling you. But it's so many blessings. I, I'm, I'm really grateful that I got to grow up in this town. I, I, and you don't realize it until you get old. It's like, and I've said this many times when I've spoken to groups in the past. I'm just grateful for the opportunity that actually growing up in Centralia allowed me, you know, with our Sandlot games and so many sports figures and just places to play and just you know the things that it teaches you indirectly just about you know life and especially in the sporting world the things that you know I learned by just playing out there in these fields all the time and making up games and, and just you know joining in in the neighborhoods and all it's just it's just one of those things that I'm grateful for and I always will be and I understand it now you know and it's good to be in this place and I'm grateful to be able to give back, not just to Centralia, but just be able to share the game of baseball and the game of life with all these young people down here and have such an awesome place to do this. You know, and I just, I feel like we stand in the gap for them. And, you know, it's just, it's been a thrill for me to come up here and just have something here and just to get back into it and just, I know what it's going to mean to these guys. And i got to say thank you publicly to our staff, our team, our team from the top to the bottom of the Middle Woods group, all the way through our coaches, have done an outstanding job. It's, it's way beyond what I thought it was going to be. And you'll see when you see this thing in operation, if COVID will get out of here, we'll get to playing some ball. And it's going to be packed in here. So, But we are so I'm so excited. I'm so grateful for you guys being here and sharing this and just... It's good to be back home. I knew I was gonna crack. <laughs> but it's okay. It's okay. And you know, I don't wanna I don't wanna just go out. I mean I would love to sit down and talk with everybody, you know, just you know, tell the stories that you know I'm gonna I'm gonna brag. I'm, you know what I'm saying? Not brag about me, but brag about where I grew up. Brag about, about my friends, our teams. The things, the great things about Centralia, and it's really a wonderful thing for me I'm, to be able to go all over the world, all over this country, and just be able to say, hey, you know what? It all started for me in Centralia, Illinois. And I'll tell you why. And it's because of all of us here and how, how we did it growing up. And I just want to carry it on here. And this is maybe to the extreme, but I'm telling you, it's awesome. And next door is going to be awesome. And it's just the beginning of some great stuff that I think is going to happen in some trip. So, God bless you all. And i got to get down on the floor and go to work. So, you all just have a good time up here. And we're going to have a little home run derby down here. And I know these guys are anxious to do it. So, thank you for sharing this with me. And, Herb, thank you again for the great honor. And I'll try to live up to it. Thank you, Gary. Thank you. I'll just say one other thing. Standing next to you. Now I know why you didn't play basketball. <laughs> I tried. Congratulations, Thank buddy. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Appreciate that. Thank you, Lowell, for coming up.
All right, thank you all for coming today. As, as Gary mentioned, we are getting ready to have a home run derby uh, here. We have uh, uh, over 90 youth that are going to come uh, through here this evening uh, and take their swing uh, 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 at uh, Bush Stadium. Uh, it's the stadium that we have up uh, uh, there. So, uh, uh, But uh, Kirk uh, Reeder is here, and if you see him, tell him uh, your favorite stadium uh, is, is Giant Stadium. He, he, uh, he'd be happy to hear that uh, uh, from you today. Because um, I think there's been only other one other one. One other one. Other one. So uh, we, well, we appreciate everybody coming through here. Uh, there will be other, other parents and so forth uh, coming up here due to the uh, restrictions that we do have uh, uh, here. If you aren't a, a parent uh, uh, here for the Home Run Derby, we'd ask for you to, to kind of matriculate on uh, out of here. Is that, a, is that the right word? So, all right. <laughs> um, uh, here in a little bit uh, when we get going here. We appreciate it and thank you again for uh, everybody.